Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your final video. So what we want to do is look on the media tab. And what I recommend that you do is place yourself where you would like to start. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start from a, a basically a long shot like this, an establishing shot. Um, I'm going to just remove this here. I know, already know how to navigate. I'm going to click this little plus button. And what it does is it creates 10 second increments. Now, often I shorten these a little bit or lengthen them, but I tend to create several sections. Now, if I stopped here and I press play, all I would get is a stable shot with no movement. So that's not really interesting. So what I want to do is move to where I would like to go. And, in in, you know, the first shot should take time so it establishes the whole scene. And I'm actually going to go towards where the, the, these people are. And then I'm going to press this button and it's going to create a keyframe. So now I'm going to move in and maybe I'm going to actually go this way towards the front of the door, but I definitely do not want to go through walls or anything because this is what ruins the whole thing. So I'll click plus. And so now I'm going to scrub this and check it. So you'll see it kind of, sometimes this is where you have to be here. See, I went over the walls. So I'm okay. So that's my first shot. So again, if I want to test it in real time, press play up here. And if it's too fast, so what I could do is maybe I think it's too fast. I'll change this to 12 seconds. Okay. If I think it's too slow, I could change it, I would switch it around and bring it down to eight seconds. So now what I'm going to do is go to where I want to start my next shot. I want to go where I'm going into this, uh, this part of the house. So I'm going to click over here and I'm going to create a new sequence and it's called, um, Art two. So what I'm going to do is move to where I want to go. Let's say I want to go right here, or maybe I want to look at this teddy bear and I'm going to press plus. So scrub, let's see, I'm going to press scrub, let's play. And I find that's too slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to seven seconds. And so you have to constantly adjust because it's not perfect. Press play. I could still make this five seconds. Because if I have like, you know, five rooms to visit or whatever, uh, I definitely want to make sure. So I'm going to go to where my next. So don't forget to queue. And right now I just realized that a rendering got turned on. So what I can do is go to ambiance. Um, we did already cover this. Uh, under render and I'm just going to put it on standard now for the video you probably you can when you export change this so that's the main thing you need to know so I'm going to go now and I'm going to go quickly here just get one or two more we'll see what it does in the render but I'm pretty sure it'll you can choose to have it sent out as lumen only so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new sequence and I'm going to make this one also about five seconds. I'm just going to show off my kitchen. Let's start here and I'm going to go inside. And if this is too fast, just change it using the one, two, three button. Three is slow. So then when I move my camera, it's a little bit easier and I'm going to click a key frame and I'm going to scrub this. Okay. Then I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go and start here. I'm going to click another new sequence. And I'm going to make this one, I think, about eight seconds. I kind of already know what I'm doing. So, you know, make don't make these too long. Eight seconds. And so what I'm going to do is go to this side. And I'm going to press three so I can go a little bit faster. Four so I can go even faster. I'm going to turn around here so I can see the whole yard. Like that. Press plus. So these, when you turn, this is what causes the issues often. So I have a look, press the play button. Looks pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to show you something like as if I did it out of the wrong order. And I'm also going to show you how you can add like weather and so on. So let's say I wanted this to be my first shot of the lake. So I'm going to start by creating a new section. And I'm going to film this shot. 
Uh, let's just, can I shrink these? I can collapse them. Starting to have too many of them, and I can reopen these after, by the way. Um, so I want to go over here, and I'm going to click on here. And what I want to do is go to the where that lake is. Maybe there's something interesting down here, and I'll just go like that. And I'll keep this kind of 10 seconds. So now here's what I want to show you that's really cool is under ambiance, under environment, you can choose to do a whole bunch of cool stuff. So let's say I want to make this at the beginning of the day like this. Okay, so what I do is I click over here and I go start and ambiance. Um, you got to add it. So, oh, down here, that's what I do. I go and I have to copy ambiance. So now I had turned it off by accident. So I go down here, copy ambiance. So now when I scrub through this, it goes from day to night. Now, I'll just show you something that's obvious, but you can go down here too. There's weather. And let's say I want it to be looking like it's raining at the beginning of this. Same thing. I'm going to go copy ambiance. It didn't work. Let me do it again. So click. It did copy at that time after I clicked it. So now I have this scene. But the problem is that this scene is kind of in the wrong order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to collapse it. I'm going to... I'm going to move this. When I'm in this mode, I'm able to move it to the beginning. Maybe I put it in the wrong sequence. Let um, me just go here. We got my bar down here. I'm just going to collapse this. And I'm going to move this to the beginning. So now I can press my whole scene. And the thing is, you can edit this in Premiere Pro or some other video program further, add titles and so on, which we're going to do in my class. But basically, you can just do a, a video right into in motion uh, without getting too fancy. There's no music, etc. You'd have to use a third-party software for that. But you can get a really high-quality render. So, um, so here you are. You can really see... And you see in this video, when I selected, I had the background selected. So I need to be careful when I do my videos to make sure uh, that I don't have anything selected because it does end up showing up in the render. So now that I'm happy, I'm going to go to export. And what you'll see is there's a bunch of image. What we're doing is a video. And I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to quit media mode, select this. Oops, export. Go and select my video, which is right here. So add that. Now I'm going to say I want it in Lumen. Remember I said you can change it after. And I'm going to click export. So give me a second here. Start export. Then this is, give it a name. Dubovid. And... Just go documents. Basically, this is going to take two, three minutes, all right? But uh, that's how you do it. Okay, if you have any other questions, please let me know.